class. Last class we have seen what is a closed set and uh, some characterization of closed sets. Today we will discuss the closure of a subset. One point three definition. The closure of a subset. The closure of a subset of a topological space. Of a topological space is defined as is defined as the intersection of as the intersection of all closed subsets. All closed subsets, all closed subsets containing it, containing it. The closure of a subset of a topology space is defined as the intersection of all closed subsets containing it. That means. Suppose I have a I have a topological space. This is my topological space, mentioning as X door, and I have a subset of X. That is, this is my subset A. Now I want to find the closure of it. So the closure of A, or getting closure of A, what we have to consider is, we should consider all closed subsets of X. Suppose I am mentioning my closed subsets like tangles. You take all closed uh, subsets in your uh, X, which containing A. Okay. So we go for any closed subspace. Which containing A. Now again, so so much of uh, rectangles you can see. These are the closed subset which containing A. Now, in order to get the closure of A, means what you have to do is you go for the intersection of this all closed subspaces so you get exactly intersection means this one right all closed subspace which containing a so this is the intersection now i can say that here a closure is this one this rose marked uh, region this is your a closure can you or understood for getting a closure we want to consider all the closed sets which containing a and take its intersection if a is a subset if a is a subset of a space of a space X to then its closure is closure is the set is the set intersection of all C belongs to X such that C is closed closed in X and A is contained in C. So here also we have considered here your C was 
this rectangles okay and it is denoted by it is denoted by a closure that is a bar a closure now we can not not the closure depends on the closure depends on the topology on the topology so same set same set can have different closures different closures different closures in different topologies in different topologies so the closure depends on the topology so the same set can have different closures in different topologies let's have an example you consider the set example consider x equal to a b c okay and your t1 equal to empty set x a b and c okay now you consider the closure of c okay uh, now x to 1 is a topological space can easily check whether it's closed under finite intersection and arbitrary union is true okay so this is a topological space now i want to find c closure so in order to consider c closure means i should take the intersection of all points sorry all uh, closed set which containing c so intersection of all closed sets closed sets which containing which containing c i should consider like that now oh, the closed set means how to find the closed sets So let me mention it here. For closed sets, closed set means you take the elements in T1, then uh, closed sets for this topology is take the difference from your entire set. So x minus empty set that's equal to x which is closed to set now x minus this x you will get empty set that is again closed now you take x minus a b what you will get is singleton c that's again closed next you consider x minus singleton c that's equal to that is a b so our open sets are sorry our closed sets our closed sets are this one so what is the method for finding closed sets if a topology is given we can easily calculate what are the closed sets take the difference from uh, your parent set x with each element from the topology okay so here 
the closed sets are closed sets are x empty set singleton c and ab now we take the closed set the closed set containing containing c what are they one is x and another one is singleton c now take the intersection of the intersection of all closed sets containing containing c is x intersection singleton c so that is nothing but your set c am i right okay so here closure of c the set closure is c itself okay next we will have another topology on this set so this is our first answer now consider the topology now consider our set was x equal to a b c and and consider another topology t2 equal to empty set x and set a c now this is another topology have you got any doubt will it form a topology definitely it will form a topology what's the reason because x and phi are the then you take the union you will get x and if you take the intersection you will get only a c or you can have empty intersection right so this is again will form a topology then my x to 2 is a topological space topological space now we want to find the closure of C. Now, closure of C. Okay. C equal to 1 that we want to find. Now we go for all closed sets in this. All closed sets. In X to 2. R, go for complement of this from x r so first value is complement of phi x complement of x phi now complement of a c complement of a c is singleton b right now we take the closed sets which containing now the closed sets which containing containing C that is here only one set that is X therefore therefore the closure of singleton C is X so here what you got is for the same set in different topologies we are having different closures here you have got singleton c but here we are getting you are getting it is as x okay Hope you understood this. Next, we will have a proposition 1.4 proposition. One point four proposition. Let 
a comma b b subsets of a topological space b subsets of a topological space x to then such statement a closure is closed subset of x a closure is closed subset of x Moreover, moreover, it is the smallest closed subset, smallest closed subset of X. containing A that is if C is closed in X C is closed in X and A is contained in C then A closure is contained in C that means says that A closure is a closed set and moreover it is the smallest closed subset of X containing A. So it is the smallest closed subset of X containing A. That is if uh, any other subset is there which is closed and containing C means that A closure should be contained inside that set. Second one second result closure of empty set is empty set third one a is closed in x a is closed in x if and only if a closure is equal to a a is closed in x if and only if a closure is equal to a Fourth one, A closure, closure is equal to A closure. A closure, closure equal to closure. Closure we can represent in another fashion also. That is C of A. So C of C of A is equal to C of A. And fifth result. what I did. Yeah, it's correct only, no? Okay. I, I was just confused with this. So, C of C of A is equal to C of A. So here I should uh, mention it where, where C of A means C closure. And fifth one A union B closure is equal to A closure union. B closure. So we want to prove these five facts. So proof of one, very easy one only. So let us see. So one and two. What is one? A closure is a closed subset of X. It's very evident because you are taking intersection of all closed sets. So it should be closed. Second one, empty set closure is evident. You, can uh, you take 
the closed set which containing the empty set that is empty set itself take its intersection again you will get the empty set so 1 and 2 1 and 2 are immediate consequences of immediate consequences of the definition of the definition and properties of and properties of closed sets closed sets so for property 3 for property 3 we note that we note that if a is closed then if a is closed then clearly then clearly the smallest closed set smallest closed set containing a is a itself what we want to prove we want to prove that if uh, a is closed in x if and only if a closed should equal to a so suppose that a is closed a is closed means then the smallest closed set containing a is a itself right so we will get a closure is equal to a so one part we have proved next we want to assume that a closure equal to a and we want to prove that a is closed set conversely conversely if a closure is equal to a then a is closed since a closure is always a closed set is always a closed set being the intersection of closed sets being the intersection being the intersection of closed sets now property 4 now for 4 what do we want to prove we want to prove a closure closure is equal to a closure so we want to prove a closure closure is equal to a closure apply 3 to a closure apply condition 3 that is what is condition 3 a is closed in x if and only if a closure is equal to a right so apply 3 to a closure to a closure because we have seen that a closure is closed we get a is closed so sorry a closure is closed now take its closure it is nothing but a closure so we have proved the fourth one now only the fifth one is remaining for us for fifth one what do we want to prove we want to prove you want to prove a union b closure a union b closure equal to a closure union 
B closure. A union B all closure equal to A closure union B closure we want to prove. So how to prove it? Note that note that A closure union B closure is just first of all is first of all a closed set first of all a closed set containing containing a union B what's the reason since a closure is closed B closure is closed and finite union of closed set is closed right so it is three exactly a finite union of closed set is closed so it is closed set and moreover a is contained in a closure and b is contained in b closure so this, this contained in this one as as we are writing a is contained in A closure and B is contained in B closure and hence and hence we are having A union B closure is contained in A closure union B closure. Now we got one way of the inclusion. Right, so call this as one. Now, for the other way inclusion, for the other way of inclusion, we first observe that we first. observe we first observe that whenever whenever a1 is contained in a2 then a1 closure is contained in a2 closure now, so first we note that it is, uh, we will say that it is expansive. That is, A1 is contained in A2, then A1 closure is contained in A2 closure. Now, A union B contains, contains A as well as B. and so and so what you having a closure and B closure B closure are subsets of a closure union subsets of a union B all closure right hence what do you guys have Hence, these two contained in this. Hence, A closure, union B closure is contained in A union B closure. All this as 2. Now, from 1 and 2, this from 1 and 2, and 2, we get... A union B closure equal to A closure union B closure. Hence the result. So I am writing up today's session here. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.